My name is Maria Pedro, Representative Deputy Lieutenant for the London Borough of Hounslow, and we're bringing it all together for the Heston West Big Local. Tell us a bit about your role in the community. Yeah. Um, Oh, my role is to represent um, Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant and the monarch. And in, in that role, our, our job is to follow the example of the Queen and be bridge builders, building bridges between individuals, communities and organisations so that all feel um, a sense of social inclusion and a pride in being um, in London, a part of London. So, as you know, this representative, what is your main responsibilities that you have? Well, as, the, as we represent the Queen and the, um, I represent Her Majesty's Lord Lieutenant, I've got five main um, areas of activities. Um, the first one is being involved with our visits. If there's a visit to the borough, then sometimes I get involved in uh, liaising, liaising with the organisation that's having the visit and the member of the royal family and then often I'll be the first person to receive uh, the members of the Royal Family when they arrive. Um, we also are involved with honours and awards. We promote honours and awards and sometimes uh, present them. These are national honours. Military liaison um, with the uh, armed forces, the reserves, cadet associations. We work very closely with them and promote their activities. We work um, civic um, engagement with the civic authorities, and this is done throughout Greater London through the 32 representative deputy lieutenants, and I'm one for Hounslow, so I'm the representative deputy lieutenant for the London Borough of Hounslow. It's a bit of a mouthful, but that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, I was trying to pronounce it earlier, yeah, it's a bit long. <laughs> and then the fifth thing we do is community engagement, and that's really working and supporting groups such as yours. Okay, so how long have you been this representative? Well, I was appointed a Deputy Lieutenant in 2011, and then I was appointed to London Borough Councillor in 2012. So it's just under five, five years. And, you know, how did you be, um, get to become this representative? How, you know, how did you become? Well, I was appointed by Her Majesty's Lord, Lord Lieutenant with the approval of Her Majesty and the Secretary of State. I received a letter asking me if I'd like uh, this appointment. And it's an appointment that is an honorary position. It's unpaid and there are no expenses either. What's the best? Uh, I was the about to say, it's uh, not a job that you can, you know, there's no job that you can apply for. It's not like oh, okay. a job vacancy and you think, oh, that's look, something I like the sound of. So you're sort of just, you know, like chosen you're for chosen. it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What's the best thing about your role? Well, for me, the best thing of, of, of the role is meeting groups such as yours that are making a real difference uh, to their, their communities. And in that, all the unsung um, army and volunteers in, in the borough who tirelessly work day in, day out, week in, week in, out, month after month, year after year, for no reward. I mean, I, that to me is pretty humbling and that's the best part of my, uh, my job. Have you, have you ever met the Queen? If yes, tell us a bit about your experience. Yes, I have uh, yeah. met the Queen. Um, and the first time I met her was in 2003. My partner was one of the England rugby uh, oh. coaches oh. that won the World Cup. Oh. in 2003. So uh, the Queen had a reception at Buckingham Palace yeah. for the um, rugby players and for the coaches and their wives and girlfriends. So as a girlfriend I was, I was, I was invited along and that's where I met, um, I met the Queen. And that was interesting because when we arrived the players went one way because they were going to have all the official photographs with the, the Queen and us wives and girlfriends went another way where we went to have tea where, and the players were going to join us later, which they did, which I think they joined us about 15 minutes later, you know, and we're just talking and suddenly at my feet are a swarm of corgis. <laughs> corgis swarm <laughs> into the room and they're looking for the crumbs and bits and pieces from, from the, the tea. 
And I thought, well, this is my chance and maybe the only chance I'll get to um, <laughs> pet a royal corgi. So I bent down to uh, say hello to one of the corgis. And as I got up, standing right in front of me was Her Majesty. <laughs> what I hadn't appreciated is that where there are corgis, there will be um, the Queen. Where she goes. How many members of the royal family have you met? Well, I think I've met most of the, uh, the senior members of the royal family. Yes. Okay. What's your favourite thing about Handler? Um, it's energy, it's commitment, the commitment of the people, the dedication. It's got a very entrepreneurial uh, spirit. People have got this get up and go in Hounslow and I really admire that. Um, and that's what I think is the best part of Hounslow for me. So what aspect of our community work are you most like passionate about? For me it's young people such as yourselves and, and older, because you're the people and generation that are going to make the difference. You're, the, you know, you're our future. So for me, it's very important to support what you do and try and provide opportunities for you to do more and to really fulfill your potential. So, so for this year, what are your personal but also work-related goals that you want to achieve by the end of this year? Well, I've got several. One of which, the main one, is building on the foundations of the past. Um, at this time last year, when I was looking at what I wanted to achieve in 2017, I felt that I didn't know Cranford and Heston as well as I did, so I got in touch with uh, Taz, and I'm now learning a lot more about this part of, um, of the borough. Um, another objective is to promote various the, the two main awards, which are the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, Queen's Award for, um, for Enterprise. And then another big objective is to give more profile to the Greater London Lieutenancy. And this is a perfect opportunity. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah. So, you know, as young people, what skills do you think are important to, you know, for to help us get somewhere, to help us, you know, do something? Right. I thought about this and I think the skills that you need tomorrow are the same skills that you need today and the same skills that were needed by young people yesterday and also in my time. In that, in that I reflect one of the things my friend says and she says that it's called the three C's. Firstly, consideration. Consideration for other people, um, to be empathetic and be helpful. Secondly, is to have confidence confidence in yourself, confidence to try and master and, uh, and complete new and difficult things and that will give you pride and confidence in what you're doing. And thirdly is to be content with what you have and not to be jealous and envious of what other people have got. That's really hard I know, yeah. <laughs> but those are the, th the three skills that I think young people should try to strive towards not just in now, but going forward in their lives as adults. Mm -hmm. What should more young people volunteer in the community? Um, is that, I think young people should volunteer in the communities because it exposes you to situations and people that, you know, outside your normal experience. And therein it helps you to become much more flexible in your approach and less rigid in what you, what you think about things. Um, it gives you skills and expertise which you might not otherwise be able to acquire. And as importantly, it helps your CV. It makes it yeah. look really good on the CV. And so it means when you go for an interview, you've got something concrete to talk about. Why is youth leadership so important in making young people successful? Um, I think possibly you guys could answer that question much better than <laughs> I could or, or Taz. Yeah. I mean, what have you experienced through being leaders in your your community, young people, as young people? Well, it sort of you know boosts my confidence and it gives me something to do, and I feel like I'm actually making a difference and I'm you know doing something that's actually helping instead of you know sitting at home on the sofa watching TV yeah. so, and I just feel really good about it. 
It makes you feel better about yeah. yourself. Yes. Um, I think it's made me boost my confidence confidence also because like I used to just be like at home on the iPad or like on the apps and then now I'm like interviewing you and it's a good experience because it's good for my CV. Yeah. And you're both interested in media so yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that, that will help as well won't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, uh, we are now 18 months in into our big local community. What main positive impact or change have you seen happen in our local community during this time? Well, what I've seen is a sense of pride and achievement in people, which, you know, it was probably there before, but it was maybe perhaps done on a family level and on an individual level. But the community has now come together and made some big changes and those changes are going to continue for the, for the duration, not just for the duration of the big local, but for the rest of, um, of time. So that's the big change I've seen. What would you like to see, see the big local do next? Well, I don't know actually, because okay. I think that's yeah. up to you guys, yeah. the big local people, to decide what's important, what your priorities are, and as I understand it, you've got the structures now to make those yeah. decisions and take things forward. So I'm, I'm, I'll sit back and just watch <laughs> what okay. you're doing, and I'm sure it'll be very successful. Um, but do you have, like, you know, what things would you like us to see maybe improve, or, you know, is there anything that you think that maybe we should tackle? No, I... I, no. I, I, I <laughs> nothing? No, nothing. I'm sure Taz, Taz is much better uh, place to, uh, <laughs> You know, you've done so many things from football, haven't you? Yeah. With, with parents. Yeah. Um, and that's been great, getting uh, older people mobilised yeah. and healthier. And it also brings, as I understand it, it brings you all together as a family. Yeah. I think maybe more things like that. Finally, do you have a message for our local community? Yes, I do. And, you know, I've got another lot of three Cs. I hope that's not too, too no. boring. <laughs> no. uh, that's really good. It is, it's a very simple. Yeah. Um, make a choice to make a change, to make a difference to your community. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks <laughs> for doing that. That was really good. good. Happy birthday, Your Majesty! Support creative diversity by connecting with us on our social media. Be sure to watch more by clicking on one of these beauties.